Yeah. Nice. Nailed it. Yeah. So, okay. what's my name? Um, my name is Harriet, and I am the director of Anna. For me, it didn't begin as a story about someone on the autism spectrum. It began a story about a young girl who just liked things being specifically a certain way for her to be happiest and for get on, to get on with her life the best. But as I was writing it, uh, I reread The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, which is one of my favourite books, and I think it's a fantastic story. And I reread that, and I just thought, why not turn this film into something that means more, and why not delve deeper? And so I, I trialled the idea of Anna being on the autism spectrum, and I think it's turned out quite well. Uh, when developing Anna into a story about someone on the autism spectrum, I was being, I was very aware that my story is only one story. My story is not a representation of every single person who experiences autism on the spectrum. My story is just one. So um, there are going to be people who watch this film who are on the spectrum who don't really connect with it and might not have the same experience as Anna and then there will be people who watch it and go yeah I resonate with that that that's what I do when I panic or that's the way that I stim when I'm panicking or that's the way I like to organize my books on my bookshelf you know all those little details that's that's what it was about so this is only one person's story but I think it's a story that needs to be told because that representation needs to be bigger and there isn't enough representation of the autism spectrum on screen. So I was very careful when it came to making sure that the representation of Anna was as authentic and genuine as it could be. Um, I spent a lot of time working with um, Tanya and Neil from Autism New Zealand and talking to them about ways I could represent a character without it being sort of farcical or insulting or wrong, basically. Um, because that's the thing, if you're going to make a movie about representation of something that you don't personally know, you have to talk to people who know to make sure that you're doing that representation justice. Um, so yeah, I spent a lot of time with them, script developments. I took Geneva along with me to talk to Tanya and Neil about ways she could approach the acting without it seeming put on. It, it had to be genuine uh, and I really hope that comes across in the film because we tried very hard. Even though it's a, it's a dramatisation because it's fiction, uh, it's, it's based in reality and it's based in real people's reactions and experiences and I think that that's a very important part of the film. It's very difficult writing a film that has minimal dialogue because so much of the film ends up relying, you end up relying so much on actions and reactions. So instead of it being, and I, cut, I even cut dialogue after we filmed it, I cut dialogue in the edit so there's even less dialogue in the film than there was in the original script. But it's so much about the way that Geneva was able to perform little looks and little glances and little flutters of panic and little glances between other characters who were all kind of, you know, trying to figure out what was happening on the bus. It was all about that rather than, what's happening? Are you okay? Oh my goodness, something's gone wrong. You know, because that doesn't happen in real life. So much of what we do is just little movements and little glances. And I found that was very difficult, but I think it's been very rewarding. Short film Anna, three words. Oh no! Three words are three words. Vulnerable. Anna is evocative. Anna is real. If you go to the film and you feel something and you feel like you understand Anna on any level, um, it's done its job and I hope you enjoy it.